Hello, today we're going to talk about the buttonhole, the boutonniere or the lapel flower, um, sometimes known as the uh, corsage, and how we're going to fit it. So we get asked a lot in the shop of how you pop these on. So um, they're really, really easy. However, they're easy for me because I know how to do it. So it's like anything once you know how to do it, it's really easy. But generally speaking, we don't wear these sort of things a lot. So why, why would we know? We just know that we need them. So a um, bit of history on it. So um, it's a uh, correct term is a boutonniere or a buttonhole, um, which is uh, boutonniere is the French version of, of buttonhole. And the buttonhole is because obviously it is there to go in your buttonhole, which we'll talk about a bit more in a moment. A lot of people call them corsage as well, uh, which is fine, it's not a problem, but generally speaking, a corsage is uh, for a lady when they're wearing them on their wrists, etc. Um, so, how do we know where to put it? This one's really, really easy. So, because we get asked this quite a lot, I don't know which side. It's the side with the buttonhole on the suit, okay? So, if you look at the lapels on the left hand side of the suit, there will always be a buttonhole and that's where your flower goes so it's nice and easy this suit just to confuse things has got two that's just an extra feature just to add a little bit of detail in we're going to work with this one here if we imagine this is our buttonhole and that one doesn't exist that's where so traditionally in uh, days gone by the way that you would fit this is it would actually go in through the buttonhole so obviously not here but it would actually go th physically through that buttonhole and then there would be a a loop or a bit of cotton on the back there that would hold that in place. We don't do that anymore. Um, it certainly wouldn't be good for the shape of the suit and actually you'd, you'd find it more fiddly. So um, the modern way is we just use a pin. Okay. So, and the easy way to remember um, how, how and where it goes is obviously, as I've said, the button, but also to run alongside the edge of your lapel. Okay. So uh, stem down obviously, but we don't really want it at an angle, so although you can, it's really up to you, but as a general rule, so that it follows the line of the lapel, okay? And in terms of height, again, as I said, ignore that one. In terms of the height, as long as you're kind of covering, so that, that where the main flower is, obviously they, they, you can have just single flower ones, you can have ones that are a bit more of an arrangement, kind of where the buttonhole for the head of the flower is kind of where I aim for. Um, otherwise it can be a bit too low or a bit too high, but it's really personal preference. Okay, and the way I put this on, so I've got this lined up now. I'm happy where that is. It's in line with uh, the lapel. And then I just, pin goes in from the back, but I just hold that in place now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in so that I'm actually going through the fabric of the suit. And then I'm also going through um, the flower itself. And then what I'm also going to do is just keep going to make sure it comes back out through. And then it, then the pin itself is sitting behind. I don't know if you can see that if you come around. So the pins come back out so that actually one hopefully it won't um, stab into you because it's hidden nicely behind the lapel but also you don't then see any unsightly bits of the pin and then that's it as easy as that if anyone's got any questions then feel free to ask but otherwise uh, the most important thing to remember is it's called a boutonniere or buttonhole so it goes on the side with a buttonhole and then just a pin the other thing i would say is get somebody else to put it on you because it's easier to do it with two hands than trying to fiddle fiddle down otherwise that's it